Hello everyone, welcome to the demonstration of AppSeekerNet. In today's demonstration, I will be showcasing you how to integrate your online Zoho CRM account with back-office ERP Microsoft Dynamic Nav via AppSeekerNet. Well, we have a demo Zoho CRM account and demo database company Nav which will be used for this demo purpose. So I will start by the customer synchronization and for that I need to create a customer in Zoho and the customer swing will be taking place from Zoho CRM to Nav direction. Once the customer is added, I will go for a product creation. I will create a product in Nav and synchronize that from Nav to Zoho direction. After that, I will place an order in Zoho CRM by the name of the customer which I have created and synced before and synchronize that sales order from Zoho CRM to NAV direction. Once the sales order is synced, after that I will convert the sales order into sales invoice and synchronize that from Zoho CRM to NAV direction. So let's create an account in Zoho. For that, let's go to account section where I can add a new account or I can set up new customer. Let's add a account name here. Okay, let's add a phone number and you have to put a unique email ID. So I'm giving an email ID here. A unique email ID has to be put in and once after that let's uh, scroll down and you can choose account type from here and you can add uh, address here you can add different billing and shipping address and for this demo i'm just keeping it same once the details is added let's save that customer so the account is created in zoho serum account now let's go to the server where the Epsi Connect agent is installed. So this is Epsi Connect agent and from Zoho to Nav direction you can find there is an integration point that is customer add. Before the synchronization you just have, need to trigger that and after the completion of the synchronization we can go to Nav and find the customer by the name of the customer so that you can see if it's available or not. So let's find the customer. So you can see the customer which I have created in Zoho CRM is successfully synced now in NAV with all the details which I have mentioned in Zoho. It's available in NAV now. So now let's go to product creation. So let's create a product in NAV. So for that I'm just going to the item part where I can create a new product. Let's add a unique item number. And you have to provide the item name of course and you have to put all the mandatory field so like general pro product posting group tax posting group and inventory posting group need to be filled okay and let's add our unit price and after that there is a section webcast web product details cp page which is the extension of Rapsi connect so here the flag enable visible flags need to be checked let's add a description for this product after that scroll down there you can find there is a ace application item list section where you have to add application id for zoho it will be eight and let's add this checkbox. Web item flag need to be checked. So once we have added all the details, and we have put all the uh, information uh, about that item. Let's click OK. So the item is created in NAV and let's go to the agent part. And from NAV to Zoho direction, you can find there is an integration point that is product add. You just have to trigger that. And once the synchronization is done, you can find the product in Zoho. So let's go to product part where I can find the product. So we can see that the product which I have created in NAV, it's synced now. And let's expand that and you can find the details regarding that product is available now. 
with the price also in Zoho. So now let's create a sales order in Zoho and sync that. Let's go to sales order where I can add a new sales order by the name of the customer which I have created before. Let's give up unique name for this order. You can add account name here. And after that, just scroll down. You can, if when you choose the account name, the details regarding that account will be available here. And now let's add a line item right in. So this item I have created and synced. So let's add a quantity. So the sales order is created. So just save it. So sales order is created in Zoho. Now I'm going back to the agent. And from uh, Zoho to Nav direction, there is integration point that is sales order. Let's trigger that. And let's go to Nav. I'm just going to sales order part where I can find my sales order which I've created. Uh, so let's find the sales order by the name of the customer. So the sales order is successfully synced now. Let's just expand that. So I can show you the details is available now in Nav which I have mentioned in Zoho. So once the sales order done, let's convert the sales order in, um, in sales invoice. So I'm just converting this sales order into invoice in Zoho. So the sales invoice is created in Zoho. Now I'm going back to the agent. Let's go to sales invoice in nav. Where I can find the sales invoice uh, by the name of the customer. I'm just searching the invoice. Uh, So the invoice is added with all details and about which I mentioned in Zoho CRM it's synced now. So uh, these are some few integration points which you have created for this demo purpose and if you have any queries you can directly contact with us. Thank you so much.